Some time ago, one of my students uh, discovered a beautiful text in France, in the French of 17th century. I showed it to me. I loved the text so much, I took it and made some very minor changes, absolutely minor changes. I'll soon tell you what they are. And gave it to top Indologists. And these Indologists looked at it, were very thrilled with that. They said, this is the most beautiful description of the Indian caste system we ever have seen. So how, where did you get that? I said, 17th century, French writer. Who was it? I gave the name. What's the name of the text? I gave the name of the text. And once they were convinced they wanted to take a look at that text themselves, I added one small sentence. I said, the text I gave you was a description of France of 17th century. I just replaced nobility for Brahmins, kings for Kshatriyas, and so on, including the fifth estate as it is called to Panchamas. And they found it a wonderful description of caste system in India. Now why am I telling you this story? Of course they don't like me, since then they, never, they have stopped speaking to me, which is understandable. Why am I telling you this? It's to say that when Europeans came and described this, for example the caste system, they were not describing India at all. They were describing Europe, using European language, European framework, describing Indian society. Of course there were hierarchies, of course there were groups, they are there everywhere in the world. But this fantastic creature, caste system, was completely created, which of course we all embrace in India after independence. We have enshrined it in a constitution. So in the same way, when they looked at India, they described using their notions, their conceptions, their theories, their words. And they looked at the myths and the legends of the history, of the Puranas and and so-called Itihasa literature as disguised history. Of course they had this debate, the quarrel with the ancients during the Enlightenment period, when they started looking at myths.